like, all right, Connor, I, I'm, I'm being, I'm being dead serious. Like, cause I consider you a close friend and I, I want to make sure you're taken care of like as best possible. I'm going to talk to you, pretend like we're not recording or anything. Mm -hmm. Um, I know it's for a video, but I do want to say like, I am just based off of what you've posted the last couple of days, I am worried for you. Uh -huh. I I've, I've received, I mean, countless DMs. I can't even tell you like how many DMs I've received about you. Um, I mean, I want to talk to you, see what's going on. Like what, what's changed if it, I, I don't know. Cause I, I haven't like, talked to you in depth. Is it, is it like for a social <laughs> media stunt? Kenny, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore, dude. I, I'm done. I'm done with the acting, bro. I'm fucking done. Kenny's acting has improved and it's too fucking good. I can't do they they have to know. They have to know you're in on it, buddy. In on what though? Oh, he's still gonna be an actor. <laughs> oh, I can't. Fuck, I can't. Uh, wait, wait, so are, is this like a stunt? A oh my god! I can't. Kenny, you're too good, bro. You need to go to Hollywood. Fuck. I mean, I'm hoping, I, if, I, if I am, I'm hoping it's a skit. <laughs> is, is it? Uh, 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 yes, it is a skit, Kenny. I'll give you that much. <laughs> because, all right, so I don't know if this is true or not, but I've heard from people that you've been taking ayahuasca like every couple hours. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Yes, that is true. And I trust me, Kenny KO is definitely not taking ayahuasca every two hours either. And the government is not either. The government would never be in on it, would they? Uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, anyway, yes, I'm taking it every two hours. <laughs> so, I, Connor, I, I'm going to be serious. Talk, talking to you as a friend, like social media size, like even if we weren't recording this, if I was just talking to you, like, do, do you have people to talk to? I, I don't know if you're currently under the Abigail, influence of psychic. Are you under the influence right now? Yeah. <laughs> there's orgy. <laughs> Kenny, there's orgies going on in, in Austin. It's 6th Street. It's a pure orgy. So, I guess, are you under the influence right now? Oh, duh. I just talked okay. to the cops. They loved it because they're in on it too. Check my story. Check my Instagram post. I just talked and to the cops and they're in on it. Is the cops because you talked to them or because people are calling them on you? Uh, Both. I called them too because I wanted to collaborate with them and also people are calling. And so it's very fun. So, so my concern, obviously, you know, you have a large social media platform, like a lot of followers, you know, maybe not the reach that you used to have, but it's still fairly large. That is correct. I think like, I mean, I don't know, like, you know, you can do what you want. Obviously I, I entitle you to do whatever you want, but like having the social media platform and putting out there, like what you currently are, do you think that's detrimental to certain people that are potentially watching or perceiving your content? Yeah. You know who it's detrimental to the poor little lost souls, the egoic souls, the egoic souls who don't want to accept me as the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and accept the collective consciousness. They want to keep their individuality. They want to suffer. <laughs> Um, but anyway, um, so are you, are you taking the, the ayahuasca DMT essentially every couple hours? Um, um, yeah, um, yes, Brian. Um, I'm taking it every two hours. Yeah. So, so for what reason though? Um, it expands my mind. It essentially, it gives me the neuroplasticity of a kid with the wisdom of an adult. So I can do anything. I am a superhuman. Como estas humano de superhero? I'm about to learn the Spanish because I can learn anything. I have the neuroplasticity of a kid. Do you feel like you should seek like metal, medical attention? Uh, I just did. The cops just showed up at my door with a psychiatrist and they talked to me and he said, wow, those fucking fans are so fucking dumb. <laughs> like, how can they not realize it's an act when I've said from the very start that it is an act? How in the world can you believe that I'm not acting? <laughs> like, I can switch like dude i can just be normal so is it is it an act though <laughs> kenny you are too good of it kenny see i can't kenny's a better fucking actor than me he's acting so perfectly i cannot believe this he needs to go to hollywood everyone is in on it joe rogan is in on it elon musk is in on it tiger woods is in on it you can check my story i've been messaging them everyone is in on it it is time to reveal kenny does not want to give up the act because he is having so much fucking fun i mean i wish it was a skit i'm, I'm gonna be honest i i wish it was I, and I mean, it still potentially could be. If you did, you have damn near fooled me. Like, 100% you fooled me. So I, I would give you that because it's hard for anyone to like slip anything past me. Yeah, for sure. But like, I just want to make sure, you know, obviously you're good. People are looking out for you, that you're in the right state of mind, you know, because you, you're posting a lot, obviously, all over the place, you know, pertaining to numerous different subjects. 
And I just want to make sure, you know, that you were doing well and that you know what you're doing, essentially. Yeah, uh, I am. I am knowing what I'm doing. Uh, essentially, can I post this video, please? Yeah, you can post whatever you want. I'm going to post this video on my YouTube and I'm going to tag you in it because you deserve so many followers for your acting. Can I? Okay. <laughs> I wish it was acting. Oh, there we for go, the people... <laughs> no, no, no. For the people watching, I really wish I, I knew. <laughs> For you guys that are watching, you probably know as much as I do. Either you are seriously the best actor I have ever encountered in my life, and I don't know how you're not in Hollywood, or you're saying it's an act or a skit now in order to downplay what is actually going on. Ah, uh, interesting. You know, it's funny, Kenny, because I have been in Hollywood. <laughs> Jeffrey, <laughs> Harvey Weinstein, you think he killed himself? He's still alive. <laughs> You think he, he's still alive, Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Every single conspiracy theory you ever know is 100% true. The, the government is reptilian overlords. And then <laughs> so, Con Connor, when are you going to sober up? Like, would you plan right. on it? That's a great question, Kenny. So, essentially, um, no, until the day I physically die and reincarnate and forget my memory again. Because that is the constant progression of enlightenment. It is forgetting and knowing and forgetting and knowing. And that is how you create reality. I am forgetting and knowing that is how I created the plan. I can't do the plan if I knew it the whole time because I'd be cracking up. So I make myself forget. I am infinitely intelligent so I can make myself forget. It is very entertaining. But anyway, uh, <laughs> to the day I die, no, I will not get sober until my next lifetime, which will be never. Because this is my last lifetime. I am experiencing every lifetime simultaneously. It is very interesting. So you have no plan to sober up. What, what did the cops say when they came to your door? The guy, <laughs> the guy, <laughs> you know what he called them? <laughs> what, what, who called them? He called them noobs. <laughs> it's who, like he plays Roots game. The cops called my fans noobs. They're like, oh, are they noobs? Like, if they never watched YouTube before, do they not realize that it's just a fucking drama fest? It's a drama llama fest? It's a what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so the cops that came to your door weren't, like, concerned for, like, the state you're in? Nah, watch the Instagram live. Uh, one of the, the girl cops sucked my ding, my dingling. <laughs> I posted it. The girl cops sucked my dingling. You can look at it on Instagram, bro. Are you sure? <laughs> are you, <laughs> Kenny already has. He knows. Are, are you sure it's the right cops? You didn't order like an escort service? Oh, you, you muted. I'll answer oh, later. There you go. No, I'll answer later. Let's keep going. Um, are you sure you called the right cops? That wasn't yeah, an escort okay. service? That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm being dead ass because like you just said a female cop that showed up at your door who arrived probably for some psychosis related event ended up sucking your dick. <laughs> what the? I don't know. Maybe it was <laughs> a fan ordered prostitutes and told them to act like cops. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Check my Instagram, dude. They, I mean, I don't know. Look for yourself. They look like real cops. They sound like real cops to me. I don't fucking know. They had badges and shit, but maybe they were fake. So the thing I'm worried about, I mean, are you even aware of like day to day, like what's happening right now? <laughs> yes. Like, are, are you aware of what you did yesterday or like the day before? Yes. Most people are not aware yet of what's happening, but there's a worldwide Zoom call tonight. I'm DJing on 6th Street. We got DJ Khaled. We got Justin Bieber. Joe Rogan is announcing it. It's a giant party on 6th Street. Um, so, I mean, you gave out like your bank details, your login credentials to all your social media. Like you were get you were just give, giving people money um, that were like requesting it. Yeah. So like, I have I, I'm just confused. Like what, what's the reasoning? So you have not seen that I have 7 million Dogecoin. <laughs> So you have 7 million Dogecoin. So I posted the pictures and videos. If you were paying attention to my shit, I have $7 million in Dogecoin and I'm giving it away because I'm generous. I don't need that fucking money. <laughs> so did you just come across it or you made the investment into it? I made the investment long, long, long ago and I kept putting in more and more and more. OnlyFans is going through the roof. OnlyFans is going so wild. So it's like I'm investing all the money from OnlyFans. Fiat currency is going to collapse. I repeat, the government is going to collapse. Silly government is taking over the world. The government is going to collapse and it's only going to be cryptocurrency. 
So, so why not get like, why are you giving out your login credentials then? Like I get maybe, you know, giving back charity, giving money to people. No, my old bank accounts. I mean, yeah, they have like tens of thousands of dollars, but they are not my main bank accounts. Like what? You but but, give away but all why money? like your Instagram login or like, you know, these other. Because there is two factor identification. They cannot log in. No one has ever logged into anything important. Everything is part of the plan. The people that stole my money was not anyone. It was my father. We, it's all a plan, man. Everyone's in on it. <laughs> so. Would I be able to convince you to go like seek help? Is that possible? Uh, <laughs> Kenny, you're helping me a lot right now. You know who would help me? Patrick Lyons needs to give me an exorcism. Like, all right, Connor, I, I'm, I'm being, I'm being dead serious. Like, cause I consider you a close friend and I, I want to make sure you're taken care of like as best possible, regardless if this is a skit or not, I have no idea. I want you to be in good hands. Okay. Um, I just want—I want you to understand that. Kidding. This is, this is Tiger Woods speaking. So um, if if you tell me that you are good, like I'm gonna take your word for it. If you say you're in a good spot, 11, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna believe you. But I do want you to make sure that you know consciously what you are doing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yes, I, I am very conscious. Of, I am omniscient. I, I am experiencing every lifetime at once. I'm literally experiencing your experience right now. I have become omniscient and experiencing every fucking thing in the universe at once. Because <laughs> do, do you see how taking, for instance, like DMT or ayahuasca, I don't know what form you're taking, but taking it every couple hours could be what some would deem as hazardous. Oh, yes. Many would deem as hazardous. Many, Brian, would deem as hazardous because they are too afraid. They are too much of a pussy to try and take over the world like me. I am taking over the world. There is a great purge. There is a great flood. It is going to be chaos. And then it is going to collapse into absolute dissolvable harmony. And did you come across this information because of the Bible yourself? It is the book of Revelations. <laughs> Don't you see? There was a freaking virus, the fucking locusts and shit. It is the book of revelations. I re I made the coronavirus, motherfucker. I, I have people. I made it. I fucking made it. It's fa I mean, it's fake. It's like a story, dude. It's a fucking story. It doesn't even exist. It's all in people's minds. And so it, it, this is all a collective dream. And right now you are dreaming of the, re of the reunion of Jesus Christ to the planet Earth from Lyra. I am dreaming of you taking a walk to a psychiatric <laughs> hospital. Okay. Hear me out. Maybe admitting, yeah. maybe Abigail, admitting. How are you? I'm great. That was an interesting experience, right? Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Oh my. Right. Okay. Anyway. I'm so, oh, sorry. And, and, and <laughs> maybe like admitting yourself. A admitting I am admitting that I am mentally insane, but I have work to do. So I will not go check myself into a hospital because I have much planning to do. I have to figure out how to fake the most amazing death of all time. And I'm saying it right here, cops. It is fake, but I am faking my death the, for real this time. And it is going to be good. I will make it so much better than last time. I'm what going you, to be gone. I'm going to, I'm going to rise again on the third day. I will fake my death. And people will, even though I'm saying it is false, people will believe it is true because they believe what they want to believe. I'm faking my death and it will be fun. I am jumping off a bridge with a seahorse and I'm impregnating Jake Paul. <laughs> All right, Connor. Do you see how this is like, it's just not, like, not acceptable for social media? Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, no, it, it is getting a lot of views and it is drama. See, if this was a movie. But, but see, views just isn't the recipe for... Even in your terms, enlightenment or Correct. or self growth, like views is the most is irrelevant it? thing of all time. Uh, no, see, when you're trying to wake up the collective world, uh, the views matter because I'm trying to get eight fucking billion views but on my you, eyes. But if, like you just said, if you're planning to, you know, I don't know, disappear, disappear. Do, don't you think like you might have a young impressionable audience or like young fans who might try and replicate the things you're doing or the stuff oh, you're doing my on social Lord, media? I am praying that every single person replicates me exactly because I am the Messiah. I'm doing everything in absolute perfect order. See, can you hear? Okay. So they the should, but what you should do is seek either like talking to someone like how we currently are. I, I know I'm not at all a professional by any means, but getting in the mindset or trying to connect with what like your logic is behind okay. all this. So Kenny, I don't understand any of you people. Okay. So listen to this, right? I have more girls than I could possibly imagine. I've been having orgies by the day. 
You can check cops up my dick and shit. I have more money than I ever have before. My family life is so fucking good. My relationship, every single relationship in my life is absolute perfection. What the fuck is wrong with my life? I'm just acting differently. No, that's, than a, most that's amazing. That's amazing. But I'm saying that the stuff about you potentially like disappearing. Then I believe that that is quite selfish, right? Because if I'm having the time of my life, then who, who, who is really, whose feelings are really at stake here? It's just yours. So it's a selfish endeavor to say, Connor, don't do this shit, right? Well, it'd be selfish for you to do that. Why? Because you should, as a human, inherently care about others' opinions and wanting you around. I do. See, I am showing people it is a paradox. You show people not to give a fuck, and then they give lots of fucks. It is reverse psychology. So essentially, what you need to do is let go of all meaning in life, and then all the meaning starts flooding in. Life is counterintuitive, says Leo Gura. So you're trying to do the opposite, essentially. I am trying to awaken the world by making them realize that reality is counterintuitive and paradoxical and that we are infinite imagination. We are God. We are pure, infinite love and imagination just imagining itself and masturbating to itself. It is one giant orgy. It is a porno. It is a skit. The entire reality is an act. Reality is a fucking act. It's, it's God acting, right? So essentially, it's the most giant porno of all time. How are you going to get sexually aroused if sex just came like, you know what I mean? So essentially you need contrast. So essentially think about this. God wants to have the best sex ever. That's essentially what God wants, right? Okay. So God, uh, so wait, who, who said this? Me. So just imagine, right? I mean, God okay. would want to have great sex. I would suppose, right? So what does God do? God can't just say, Oh, I'm just going to have people that want sex all the time. No, that gets boring as fuck. What you do, you create a world where sex is bad. And then all of a sudden it becomes good. And because of that contrast, it's the world's most epic porno of all time. So what's the, what's, the, what's the end goal with what you're doing? Uh, worldwide orgy. That's the end goal? Uh, yeah, for now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Connor. It's not a... So w were you serious when you said like cops showed up your, at your door? Were they actual cops? You're muted, by the way. I think you hit mute. Okay, my bad. Uh, no, you're good. Um, okay. So did cops actually come to your door, like legit cops? Yeah. And I assume they were sent from your viewers who were like disgruntled by what you're posting on social media. Uh, correct. I called them as well, though. You can see in my vlog, I did it last time as well. Like in my vlog, like the, the day I said goodbye, last mm -hmm. time I called the like, cops on myself as well. It was pretty obvious that it was an act, but people just don't pay attention. Okay. So you, you did call on yourself. Correct. First, so for what reason did you call on yourself? Uh, to get the cops in on the plan because uh, I'm also going to need some protection on 6th Street. Not actually, but it was good for the video. So 6th Street is going to be a giant Connor fight. Does that make sense? So essentially, every Connor from the planet is coming, Connor McGregor, and everyone's going to be boxing on 6th Street like the big Josh fight. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be quite the display. And so 6th uh, Street mm -hmm. tonight, uh, I'm going to post this video as soon as I can. But come to 6th Street if you are seeing this because it is going to be a wild festival. Okay, well... Um... I don't, I don't know, honestly, what else I could say, Connor. I don't, I don't know what else you want to tell the people. I just think, is, is it a skit, essentially, I guess is how... I, reality, I want to know. Yeah, Pretend yeah, we're not recording. Is this a skit? Yeah, reality is one giant act. That's it. That's all it is, is a giant act. I'm not talking about reality. I'm talking about what you are currently doing compared to the old, the old version of yourself. Is this a skit? You think what I'm doing is somehow outside of reality? It's outside your norm. Correct, but it is all part of reality. It is all one. It is all God. It is God experiencing itself. So basically, a uh, fuck my uh, this keeps coming unplugged. I am about to go unhinged. So basically, oh my, oh, I'm naked right now. So I hopefully I did not just show my penis or Abigail's vagina. Um, <laughs> I'll blur it out if it did pop up. Okay, please blur it out. But you I can post you. the uncensored on OnlyFans and make some money if you would like. If you would like to see my penis, just let you know. I will send you dick pics at all times so you can make money off me. <laughs> any, girls, gonna, any girls, any girls, any girls. <laughs> but for the people watching, the offer is out there. Any girls, if you want to make money, just let me know and I'll send you dick pics and you can sell them and also you can touch yourself to them if you would so please. Uh, but you do, of course, you don't have to. You can imagine everything, anything you want. But I believe that I will be in everyone's mind soon. <laughs> mind so, is coming. <laughs> the conversation we're having is reality. Yeah, yeah. So is everything else. Your mental state and you being around people in public or interacting with people on social media, that is reality. Yeah, yeah. So, 
I just want to make sure that you are being like a positive influence to let's say for instance, there's someone who follows you who might be emotionally unstable or unsure of themselves. And then they see like what you're posting for who knows potentially maybe views or to get a reaction, but then they take it as serious content. Do you see like how this could be a conflict? Uh, not really. See, they need to learn to clean the inside of the cup and then the outside will be clean. Everyone is trying to manipulate the external world in order to fit their finite perspective. When well, you could just find a mind that is peaceful and, and in perspective, like any circumstance, I mean. So it's infinite perspectives. That's what I have. So essentially, nothing can back and happen to me. Like, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm enjoying it. I'm like the most fucking weirdest, masochistic, sadistic bastard you could possibly imagine. So essentially, I love pain. Like, that's why I practice pain. I use acupressure and shit like that to build my equanimity, my mental state. I love suffering because it gives me context to the good. So essentially, my mind is peaceful under literally every circumstance. And that is called a, a complete, absolute motherfucking enlightenment. <laughs> and so, so everyone needs to fucking try and achieve that. Like, I, I don't want to, like, drag it on too long. I just want you to know, obviously I support you. There's numerous other people who have reached out to me that support you. I wanted to make this video just to get like an idea or a mindset, get a feel for whether it was a skit or not. And then also, you know, try and do my best to persuade you to call someone to potentially get like diagnosed or at least checked out, talk to a professional because I'm not a professional. I don't know if you will. I'll obviously message you after this to see if you yes. have or not. All right. Um, but like I mentioned, you know, if you tell me you are happy that, you know, consciously what you are doing, I'm in no place to stop you. I just don't want you to make any abrupt decisions based on what you've been posting on social media. Sorry, Abigail has like a little hand on a finger and she's like, so it's essentially this. And she's like twiddling the head of my penis and it feels really good because it's like an alien hand. Anyway, <laughs> anyway but Connor. Uh, I will, I will text you. Okay. Is there anything else you want to end with in this video? I see the light, can I? All right, bro. Can I be, can I be dead ass for a, yeah, like a, a couple ass. seconds? Okay, let's, be Let, let's pretend like I stopped recording right now. Okay. okay. Done. We're done. We're you, you legit have had me like worried for the last, I don't know when this began, like three or four days ago. Right. Okay. Because like what you are posting, it's kind of similar to when you had that first episode. I mean, you probably remember when you made that video, I believe you lived in like Southern California, where it was like the potential like suicide video or what right, people right, right. kind of viewed that way. That's the vibes I've been getting for the last like four or three days. You know what I just mentioned? Yes. I so, understand. and you know, we're friends. Like I consider oh, you a friend. You, you were at, you were at my house. I yeah, want to yeah. make sure that you were okay. I am okay. You know, I apologize for all that, but I will try and do better. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, no, wait, you, you've done nothing wrong. I just honestly, I want to make sure that you're okay. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm very good. Yes. Thank you. I will only get better. And then obviously, like I mentioned, you know, just a second ago, I do as a friend, I recommend you go seek some help. I, but you know, obviously that's up to you. Like I'm not going to tell oh, you. Oh no, I will anything. for sure. For sure. I will definitely. But that is my advice. Sounds good. Okay. Well, All right. guys, I hope you enjoyed this video with Connor Murphy, the enlightened one. You guys can follow his social media. Everything will be in the description down below. Connor, what do you want to end with? Uh, let's go. Uh, you see, so actually the worldwide Zoom call and shit, it's actually happening on Mother's Day. So I'm going to post this like on Mother's Day. Essentially tonight, it's just a Zilka Park is going to be a world, worldwide celebration. Okay, so I'm posting this early in the morning. In Zilka Park, all day is going to be a worldwide celebration. There's going to be orgies. There's going to be Joe Rogan. I promise you, like, it's going to be really fun. Um, like, I'm serious. Like, we, it's, it's a fucking act set up. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic tomorrow. Um, and it's, it's really fun, man. I'm excited to, yeah, stop by Zilka Park. Ride or die, 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 ride or die. Now I go ride or die.